get ready to take control of your manufacturing process and achieve zero defects in your products. In this video, I will be sharing with you some powerful hacks for setting up the manufacturing process without relying on complicated problem-solving tools. We will dive into how understanding your manufacturing process can put you in better control and how you can proactively manage it to achieve top-notch product quality. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of the seven steps towards zero defect manufacturing process and be well equipped to take your production to the next level. A manufacturing process is a series of work which transform materials in a large-scale environment to a finished product which customer is willing to pay for. All man-made products that we use every day, from the simplest products such as toothbrush to a sophisticated high-technology products, will go through many, many manufacturing process in multiple factories or locations. A process is consists of a series of actions which transform all the process inputs into a process output. Typically, process inputs are the man machines, methods, measures, and materials, environment, and also design. In this case, of a mechanical chassis of a laptop part, the key process input will be MAN, which is one of the key aspects is the operator that makes the product. And one of the basic items is that we need to ensure that they are adequately trained or certified to build the product. The machine will be the molding machine that is used for material transformation. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more valuable insights and updates in manufacturing supplier quality hacks to achieve consistently good quality products. By subscribing, you will be the first to know when I post new content. Should be well maintained. The methods, the work instruction that is used is easy to understand and follow. The materials, the plastic pallets that is used uh, should be from well-qualified approved vendor with good supplier quality management system. Measure a measurement process that will measure some of the key dimensions of the laptop chassis and environment is for product that could be sensitive to certain environmental factors such as moisture that needs to be controlled during the molding process and the, the pellets needs to be dry. Product design is also one of the process input which is very important to impact the process output and this will be discussed in another video. I shall walk you through a seven steps process which I have created based on my experience to bring you nearer to what's a defect free products proactively. A capable engineering team should be able to drive cross-functional team to follow a systematic approach in achieving good quality products. Step one will start from identifying critical parameters according to the customer's requirement. And then step two is set up measurement system to measure those critical parameters. Step three is to establish all the process input that we have talked about, man, machine, methods, material, measure, environment, to ensure that they are properly set up and control each of these process inputs to ensure that they are consistent and well set up. And step five will follow by monitoring the process output to ensure that the process gives you product that is wanted. 
and study the trend from the data that is gathered from the process output. Finally, the last step would be evaluate what change can be made or any process improvement that can be made to follow these steps properly. This model requires a team's effort. Quality engineer has to learn how to influence others to follow this step. Unlock all of my courses on Udemy for only $12.99. If you are using a mobile device, simply tap on More to review the special rate course link. Click on the link to view over 15 courses in multiple quality areas offer. For desktop user, you can scroll down and click on the link to download the course list. You can then click in the list to get the special offer rate. Are you ready to take your manufacturing supplier quality engineering career to the next level? Look no further. I am excited to introduce to you my comprehensive and affordable courses available on Udemy. Whether you are preparing for a job interview or looking to advance your skills, my courses on supplier quality engineering audits, quality tools on NFSA, SPC, FMEA, Lean Six Sigma, problem solving, specialized process control audit in metal stamping, plastic injection molding, printer circuit board assembly, spray painting, and more have got you covered. Each course comes with complete downloadable guides, templates, or checklists that you can immediately apply to your job. Don't miss out on this opportunity to invest in your career. With on-demand video, you can access the course from anywhere on your mobile device, giving you the flexibility to learn on the go. And with a Udemy certificate of completion and lifetime access to course materials, you will equip with valuable resources, templates, guides, checklists to take your career to the next level. Follow the link below to check my courses to start your journey to success today. Nothing is for free. Definitely, there will be time invested to be proactive. However, the time invested is well worth it. Proactive means that time spent upfront in the early stage of a product life cycle, such as development, design validation, prototype, and even pilot built to plan in quality and analyze the potential risk of the product followed by monitoring closely the performance of the key matrices in each stage and fine-tune the process before mass production. After production, you will have a product that is almost autopilot, which you do not need to spend time to firefight all the potential issues. This is what the blue curve represents for the time spent in the proactive mode. And in a typical reactive mode is that there is no time spent on planning in quality, in analyzing the potential risk. Therefore, this stage, people will be very happy until the product reach to mass production and even to your customers, you will potentially have product like this that is unstable and you will need to firefight every day and your time spent will be according to the product's performance. That means it will be up and down according to this chart. Which would you rather be? 
would you rather be proactive, spending more time up front, or enjoy yourself and spending more time at the back end? And mass production, I can assure you that it will be ongoing for quite some time, maybe until the product is end of life, and you potentially you can have the cycle repeat for the next generation products. I've simplified even further for you from the seven step just now. Basically, a consistently good process input will result in consistently good process output. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. Each process input must be set up and controlled correctly to achieve the desired process output. Therefore, controlling all these process inputs variations should be the main focus to ensure a stable process output. If process inputs that has so much variations, then your final products will follow to have variations as well. Therefore, a process input has to be set up and controlled correctly and process output such as key performances, yield critical parameters should be monitored. You can refer to my video on how to establish critical parameters. I have put the link below. This is a very simple approach and if you have done this correctly, there will not be any complicated formula of Six Sigma and no need to go through tedious problem solving steps by just setting up and control the process input correctly. I have put in what are the key areas in each process input man, machine, methods, materials, measure and also environment lead to a consistently good quality products in this blueprint available for download. Consumer product could go through hundreds if not thousands of transformation process. Therefore, the opportunity for error is always there. If we can be more proactive in the manufacturing process within our own entity, definitely this will reduce or minimize firefighting. I hope you found today's video helpful in gaining a better understanding of manufacturing, supplier and quality engineering. I love to hear your thoughts on what topics you like me to cover. So feel free to share your comments below. If you find this video valuable, please share it with others who might benefit from it too. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to bring you a more insightful content in my future videos.